If you said, okay, what animal, if you got rid of it, would save the most lives? It's got to be mosquitoes. Welcome everyone, I'm Spiro. Thanks for tuning in. Bill Gates once said he is more afraid of a mosquito than a shark. While this does sound ridiculous on his face, given the fact that a shark could literally rip a human to shreds in a few seconds, mosquitoes are much more deadly statistically due to the diseases they can transmit. Actually, mosquitoes are considered to be the most deadly animal in the world, despite the fact that they're an insect, with roughly 1 million deaths attributed to mosquito bites every year, give or take. Now, a couple years ago, during the big Zika scare here in the U.S., a company called Oxitec wanted to release genetically modified mosquitoes into the wild in Florida. This was part of a campaign funded by Bill Gates to reduce the population of mosquitoes by essentially sterilizing the male mosquitoes so they could not reproduce with the female mosquitoes, thus crashing the population of mosquitoes, right? Now, the idea of population control is not new, as you can see. And in fact, it's a very popular idea in some circles primarily amongst eugenicists. This is an ideology that Bill Gates has suggested, at the very least, be carried out on the human population through new vaccines, healthcare, and reproductive services. This equation has four factors, a little bit of multiplication. So you've got a thing on the left, CO2, that you want to get to zero. And that's going to be based on the number of people, the services each person's using on average, the energy, on average for each service, and the CO2 being put out uh, per unit of energy. So let's look at each one of these and see how we can get this down to zero. Uh, probably one of these numbers is going to have to get pretty near to zero. Uh, that's back from high school algebra. But let's, let's take a look. Uh, first, we've got population. Uh, the world today has 6.8 billion people. That's headed up to about 9 billion. Now, if we do a really great job on new vaccines, healthcare, reproductive health services, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15%. And now over the last few years, Gates has been openly funding population control campaigns, but in this case, mosquitoes are the target. And of course, it's always to benefit mankind and eradicate uh, mosquito transmissible diseases, right? Everybody hates mosquitoes, so yeah, I, okay, why not, right? Now, to make a long story short, the 2018 campaign was met with fierce resistance from locals in Florida because, you know, they didn't want or like the idea of genetically modified mosquitoes being let loose in their neighborhoods. And to be honest with you, I can't say that I blame them. Now, ultimately, the GM mosquitoes were released in some other countries in South America and a few other places. And later, they were eventually even let loose in some areas of Florida. And now, despite all the public, public outrage, and now Oxitec, which has received over $7 million from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is at it again. And this time, they have received authorization from the EPA under an experimental use permit to release millions of genetically modified mosquitoes in Florida and Texas. Now, this seems like the perfect time to conduct an experiment on not only mosquitoes, but also the environment and the human population itself due to the fact that the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, issued sweeping suspension of its enforcement of environmental laws back in March of this year, telling companies that they would not need to meet environmental standards during the coronavirus outbreak. With these rolled back regulations, uh, they come they have no expiration date on them, basically. They're open-ended and would allow any number of industries to essentially skirt environmental laws uh, with the agency saying that it will not, quote, seek penalties for not compliance with routine monitoring and reporting obligations. In other words, hey, you, you know, we're just going to go ahead and trust you guys to do the right thing, right? Don't worry about it. Because of the coronavirus, we're just going to hang back. Now, while many people may be unaware of this program due to, well, Let's say uh, you might be out of a job uh, or, the, you know, the economy is failing, the country's in flames, the media is nonstop uh, promoting this fear porn of the virus. And now we have massive civil unrest all over this country and it's spreading to other countries. So, you know, if you haven't heard about this, I, I can't say I blame you. Now, there is a public forum on Oxitec's uh, recent permit application, which garnered a little over 31,000 comments opposing the release of these genetically modified mosquitoes, and only 56 in support of it as of June 3rd, 2020. Now, the EPA is supposed to take into consideration all of these comments during the review process, but we'll see what happens, right? Because, hey, money talks.
Now, on a somewhat related side note, to put it mildly, Bill Gates has also been funding research into genetically modified mosquitoes to be able to deliver vaccines. Now, I'm not saying that this is what they are doing here, but at the same time, how do we really know, to be honest? Because where's the oversight? Well, the EPA already announced that they're rolling back the regulations due to the coronavirus, so who is monitoring these experiments? I guess we're just supposed to uh, take these uh, companies at their word, right? Because we can all trust corporations and biotech companies and Bill Gates, you know, you know, at their word. We can trust them, right? Because they have, I'm sure they have, the environment and the public's best interests in mind, right? Now, again, I'm not saying that they are releasing these mosquitoes to vaccinate people right now, but... As we can see here on the clinicaltrials.gov website, the U.S. Army Medical Research and Development Command conducted a study on immunization via mosquito bite with radiation attenuated sporozytes. I'm not sure how you say that. Sporozytes. In collaboration with Seattle Children's Research Institute and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and the site was updated as recently as last September, and it this study included 54 different participants and even has a timeline of adverse reactions to the experiment. In other words, people who were involved in the experiment who had bad reactions to the mosquito-delivered vaccine, okay? Now, this research has been going on for years. As we can see here in a 2017 article, mosquitoes are the new syringe question mark. Seattle lab nibbles at malaria vaccine. Now, of course, we know that Bill Gates has been uh, trying to eradicate malaria throughout Africa for a long time. He's been working on vaccines for a long time. They don't have one. And they're also working on... Uh, creating engineering mosquitoes to be able to deliver vaccines okay this program was originally funded by bill and melinda gates foundation the bill and melinda gates foundation ended their support for this research uh, after volunteers got infected with the very disease they were trying to prevent okay but the department of defense paid for the most recent trial and the national institute of health funded the next one and that is according to this 2017 report so you know who knows what's happened since then this is just the very uh, surface here of this rabbit hole now bill gates and the u.s government are not the only ones exploring this next generation of vaccine delivery using mosquitoes japanese scientists are also getting in on the fun if you want to call it that as they hope to turn mosquitoes into flying vaccinators so you know how do you get around the vaccine hesitant or the anti-vaxxers right bill gates has openly stated time and time again he wants to vaccinate nearly everyone on the planet we know that there has been much resistance to this myself personally i don't consider myself to be anti-vax but you know what my immune system's working just fine and i don't need any shots uh you know to boost my immune system and, you know we've seen the clips where bill gates admits that uh injections into the bloodstream directly into the bloodstream go around your uh, uh immune system right it doesn't it doesn't necessarily help your immune system so there's a lot of questions into this i'm no expert i'm no virologist or vaccine expert so but at the same time, you know, they are working on uh, developing and engineering mosquitoes to be able to indiscriminately vaccinate and inoculate the general public. Your body isn't well defended against foreign things being stuck directly into your blood. It's a very efficient way around the human immune system. Now, many would consider this to be a conspiracy theory despite the fact that Gates has the means and the motive and has already spent millions of dollars developing genetically modified mosquitoes to deliver vaccines. Now malaria is, of course, transmitted by mosquitoes. Uh, I brought some here so you could uh, experience this. We'll let, let those roam around the uh, <laughs> auditorium a little bit. There. There's no reason only poor people should have, have the experience. Uh, <laughs> 